so um, they're looking for deals. What I get from them all the time is I need deals, I need deals, I need deals. So where do they get deals? Well, the last five flips I did, I bought from wholesalers because I don't have the time to go out looking for deals. I can't go driving for dollars. Uh, I'm in the office, I'm tied down, I'm writing checks, I'm, I'm doing paperwork. So I bought from the Home Masters franchise, uh, I'll buy his ugly houses, my last five houses. And it's easy, it's convenient, they make money, I make money, it works, it works for everybody. Um, so all these guys are looking for deals right now, and there's a void, there's a gap. Kyle Paskowitz, who, who buys about 20 houses a month, has told me he wants to buy 30 houses a month. God bless him. So that 10 houses a month has got to come from somewhere. He begs every Yellowbird Connect, which the next one is Thursday, the Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday, the first Thursday of the month at the yes. San Jose Golf and Country Club. There's going to be about 250 people there. A lot of them are looking for deals. So your job as a wholesaler or as somebody who wants to be a wholesaler is to find a deal. And the way you learn that is at these meetups. You talk to Chris, ask him where he finds his deals. He puts it out there on Facebook, like Chris Craigslist, Zillow. And he'll tell you how he finds deals. So you can do the same thing he does to find deals. And by coming to the meetups and learning the formulas, right? ARV, which is what the house is worth fixed up, times 0 0.70. Minus repairs tells you mail, maximum allowable offer, what you can pay. When you hear that formula, now you know how your buyer is going to look at the deal. So you need that education so when you find a house, you know if it's a house or a deal. Well, these guys who are looking for deals, they're not looking for houses. That's where the most new wholesalers make the mistake. I found a house. I found a house. It's in 08 and it's $120,000. It's worth an R of his 120 and he needs five grand to work and I'm asking 95. That's a house. Great, you found a house, good for you. It's not a deal. It's not a deal. They can't make money with it. They can't make money with it, they're not going to buy it. And you don't make any money on an assignment fee. So that's not being a wholesaler, that's just wasting time. Theirs and yours. So that's why you have to come and get educated to know what's a deal, what's a deal look like and that they're going to apply that formula to it, then you know if you're, if you're, if you're selling to them at Mayo, they'll buy it. Or, and right now they'll be closer to Mayo. Because the reason you do that 0.7 is that gives the, the uh, flipper 12 to 15% profit. And some guys are working for 5% profit right now because things are tight. It's hard to find deals. So they'll make less money on a deal. I know Kyle said on the panel that he's doing deals for like two grand now. That's wholesaler money. That's wholesale money from back in the day. You know, now wholesalers are making 20 grand when they can find a deal. And back when I was wholesaling, we make two to five grand and we were happy, you know? So to hear a big flipper, a large flipper with deep pockets say he's making two grand a deal on a flip, five grand a deal on a flip, oh my God. Um, so uh, here's the good news. <coughs> the market is like a hot air balloon. All right, and it's going up, and it's been going up for seven years now. So guess what? At some point, the hot air balloon has got to come down. I talked about this last time I was here. Uh, it's just a universal truth. If the market is cyclical, what goes up must come down. A lot of people have different opinions on when that's going to happen. I think it's going to be this year. We'll know in the spring. Uh, the market always picks back up in the spring. It always goes down in the fall and winter. So it's down a little bit now, a little bit, not a lot. And we'll see if it picks up in the spring and summer or not. If we have the same kind of market we had last summer where things you know shot through the roof and we had another great year and a bunch of people made a bunch of money i wish it would go up forever but it's just not possible that's not the way the market works here's the good news for wholesaling and for flippers if you if you wind up doing that later um okay so the houses are going to sell for less when the market goes down big deal you'll be able to buy them for less too a deal still a deal so if the ARV on a house in Mandarin goes down to 150, and right now the market's high and the ARV is 200, so what? You're, you're not gonna buy that house, you know, for the 100 best. Say it's 40 grand of repairs, right? $200,000 Mandarin house, 40 grand of repairs. 200 times 0.7 is 140. 40 grand of repairs is 100. That's what you need to buy that house for right now. Well, yeah, good luck, it's very hard to find, but it's out there. People are buying it at 100 or less. So what's going to happen when the market goes down is 150 times 0.7, Lord help me, 75 is 35, 105, 
uh, minus 40, you, you buy that house for 65 now. You understand? So everything adjusts down. It, it, the R is lower, but so what? So is your purchase price. You need to buy that house for 65 when the market goes down. Right? Does that make sense? So there's still going to be deals out there. There's still flippers who want to make money. There's still landlords who want to add properties. I was just talking to a landlord earlier, and she's looking for more. She, I mean, she wants to flip a little bit, but she also wants to buy and hold more. And actually, you too, <laughs> same thing. The people with over 10 properties, and they're looking for more. So the demand is out there, and it's up to new wholesalers to find the deals that flippers and buy and hold people can't can't go out and don't have the time to do.